All right. Hello, everyone. I'm recording this on November 2nd. Um, I want to mention that because I don't know when I'm going to be posting this box opening, but I did want to capture it. This is a Reborn that I ordered from an artist in UK, uh, but not by her. It's actually from a Russian artist. I've had a couple dolls from her before. Um, this was out of that artist's personal collection, but her um, her dolls look really nice, actually. Um, really beautiful work. So I love that she came in a smooth on box. It says like, make it move. What are you waiting for? Between imagination and creation and mind blowing materials for a world of applications. It's kind of cute, but it's a, it was a good sturdy box for her to ship in. All right. And I started a payment plan on this doll, and um, so I, I took my time in purchasing. I think I said her, but this this baby is probably going to be a boy in my collection. I'm going to save the album and the certificate for the end. And she did a gorgeous job. Um, her name is Anne. With packing up the box opening, so thank you if you happen to see this. She included a little knit, I think it's a teddy. Maybe that's a doggy. Man, see the wrapping is so beautiful. I need to up my game. And a honeybee magnetic pacifier. These are really cool. If you haven't seen them, you can unscrew this part and the magnets inside so you can set it to either direction. So however the magnet is inside the doll's mouth, you can flip it around. A little wooden moon. Hopefully I'm lining up right with the camera. I think. Hmm. I'm gonna open the baby first, I think, and then we're gonna open what she sent, just to change it up. I've had, this will be my third iteration of this sculpt, and um, it's one of those ones I can't get out of my system. And I've had three dolls from this artist in the past, so I tend to really, really like her style. And the artist photos looked pretty. Look like really beautiful, but I know that um, sometimes she does, she has a variation of styles that she paints in, so. Pretty curious to see how this baby looks. This sculpt, well, it's a kit, not a sculpt. It's a kit. Um, is really realistic on its own. So that does um, tend to lead to beautiful dolls. I might need my scissors. The style is heavy too. I'm not sure how I'll do with. I probably I have. I'm using my actual the like, camera tripod, not like the selfie stick tripod I usually use. It's not as quick to adjust up and down, but zoom should do well. We're doing this box opening at night, so I'm under artificial lighting. It's a tad bit. Um, tad bit like of a warm light so I know that it's not going to show the details all that great but I don't like waiting so because you know waiting is the one thing I'm not really good at <laughs> all right um okay so he's in a beautiful velour blanket I can see an arm already <laughs> Super cute. Little booties. You see a hand poking out if you've, I don't know, just that one little hand, but the two together, some people might guess. His vinyl's a bit cold because he's been out, out in my garage from the delivery. Cute. 
Yeah, he's beautiful. The painting so far is beautiful. He's um, very like newborn in that the feet are much redder than the legs. Really nicely textured. Very realistic skin tone, as much as I can see in this lighting, of course. And this particular kit has two balled up fists, but if you can see his left one, you can see that the thumb is folded up underneath in the hands. I'm just gonna open his fish, uncover his face. It's always funny when people who don't um, aren't familiar with the box openings, don't collect the dolls. Um, there's always like a moment of shock when they see a diaper on the head. Some people don't like that or they, I've gotten comments like that that's unprofessional. Well, first of all, especially when you're buying from another collector, what, what, what do you propose that people do? I always say, but also um, you're protecting the paint, who cares? Ta-da. Oh, he's gorgeous. So if you don't know, his hair will need a little water, but this is the Skya Asleep, um, real born Skya Asleep from Bountiful Baby. If you happen upon this and you're not um, all that familiar with what the real born um, kits are, um, Bountiful Baby, does like a 3D scan of an actual baby. So all of their um, all of their different kits are scans of actual babies and then they're produced into vinyl kits and and then painted. So this one is called Skya Asleep. He's beautiful. I'll show you who the artist is. You can see his nostrils have been opened. So some artists will take a like a Dremel and open up the in the nose. I've even seen had some artists that do the ears. This one's not. Um, and then oftentimes it doesn't look like this doll has it, but they'll back they'll back the nose with like a dark piece of um, felt so that it looks shaded inside. Oh, he's so cute. His hair needs a little fluffing and stuff, but the hair is gorgeous. Really soft. And this artist definitely uses some. Um, beautiful quality hair. I can see his, um, a bit his details. I see the veins coming down his arms, you know, and he's blushed on the hands and the feet. He's um, somewhat fair skinned, but he's definitely, you know, he has the mottling. Um, it's light texture, definitely a matte varnish. You can even see the vein pattern. I don't know if you can. I can see the vein pattern in his in his hand that it's got even has like the fork maybe if we can't pick it up here we'll do a details video at another time or, or a changing video and i'll show that his face is absolutely gorgeous i'm going to pick him back up again sorry i just think this kit is um Extremely realistic. It's one of my all-time favorites. This really cute guy. All right, let me show you who his artist is. I put some of the stuff under under his head, under the blanket, just to prop him up a little bit, so he doesn't look like so uncomfortable. Cute guy, cute, cute guy. So there's his pacifier. The mouth is so gorgeous on this doll though. I probably won't use it much. So he came with this album um, from his artist. And you can see some of the artist's photos for at least one. Yep, here's some more. Let 
in his paperwork. So again, a real born sky asleep and the artist is Natalia Rasmuslova, Russian master artist. I've had from her, I had, um, she did a custom miracle for me. I had a custom, no, yes. And I had a custom Dwayne asleep um, sculpt from Claire Taylor from her. And then I also had uh, her prototype Huxley by Andrea, um, Andrea Arcello, who uh, my friend Laura has her now. And then um, Shannon at Loves Me Some Reborn Babies, she has um, the miracle. She purchased her from me, and I'm not sure what, where Dwayne ended up. He was cute too, really, really cute. So, um, and this doll was reborn on, well, it says 10 4 that may be April 10th. I think that's probably April 10th based on <clears throat> the date format um, in Russia, but I could be wrong. And I think this is, this is some examples of Natalia's work. Yep, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna open up these clothes that Anne included for him. So I per I bought him from Anne um, of Thistle Down. I think it's Thistle Down Dolls <clears throat> on Facebook. And she is, she's an artist. I believe she does real born, uh, reborns um, and silicone dolls. I'm not sure if she does sculpting or just painting. Um, I can't remember for sure, but you should check her out on Facebook. <laughs> oh, this is cute. So it's Lion King, but it's not cartoony at all. That's really cute. So Jungle Book, no, Lion, Lion King, sorry. Kind of like a short all. And it's, I think it's cotton. It's not quite linen, but it's a nice lightweight fabric. It's a Disney baby up to one month. <clears throat> Every time I get a boy doll, I have to tell you all how I don't have a lot of boy clothes. nice getting them because I don't have a lot of boy clothes. And this is really sweet. Perfect. That color is absolutely gorgeous on him, that powder, that baby blue. It's a really nice knit jumper and probably the same size. This is from Little, Little Nutmeg. And it's size newborn. Yeah. Wow, that's really soft. That's a little different than anything I've felt before. Definitely a favorite. Here you go, bud. And we have two more. This is super cute. This is from George. That's the brand. We have some little socks. It's kind of like a, um, I almost want to say periwinkle, but it's it's a blue in the blue family. A little two-piece romper. The white t-shirt. And at the top where the straps come over the shoulders, you have these little ears. That's really sweet. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And this is from Fred and Flo, and it's size newborn. Another sleeper. This one with elephants, which is great because he'll have a little um, elephant elephant toy for or um, uh, Miola from Miola Teddies. I have a little brown elephant that'll 
go to him. What do they call this, a Peter Pan collar? That's really cute too. Well, thank you to Anne for including the nice um, outfits for him as a boy. She did ask what gender I planned to have that keep this doll, so. Really beautiful um, choices, thank you. And actually, I'm gonna put him in this, why not? It'll match his little friend here. And then I can just enjoy him in it. This is a really nice outfit though, too. It's a good kind of heavy duty fabric. Gosh, even his, even his onesie is really nice. <laughs> Look at the back of his head, you guys. What a cutie. This is from Next Baby, this jumper he's in. Oh, so my sister's having her first baby. So, of course, I'm really stoked because that means I get to shop all of the brands, all the places she probably has never even heard of to get them some cool things. And they found out they're having a girl. So, of course, there's lots of options. So, I'll probably be picking out some cute stuff from like children's salon or, and if you're watching, surprise, um, <laughs> from, uh, from children's salon and, um, I don't know, maybe Kate Quinn or, or Jane UK if she, if they have a sale. And then, well, maybe they'll have more than one. They might hang on to them. I was going to say, then they can just send me the clothes when the kid grows out of them. But Mm, maybe not for my dolls, because real kids are a little bit, um, we'll just say messier, and dolls are a little harder on clothes, so maybe not. Diapers. I'm actually just going to get rid of the diaper. It's a tiny bit small on him. He's got kind of a, he's a beefy guy. This diaper's a little small. And also, I find that they restrict the movement for posing. And since that's mostly what I do is just pose them and like look at them. Um, unless it adds to the look of the outfit or it's necessary because it's a dress, I, I've been leaving them off more and more. This is a cute onesie, right? The ribbed. Cotton. There's uh, it's George also. Yeah, I'm gonna put this thing on him. So yesterday, no, two two days ago already was Halloween. Um, friends in Chicago. Look at that foot. Had a. The foot kind of curls in. Um, they had snow in Chicago and Wisconsin and Michigan. Like decently significant snow. I have not gotten any yet. Although I did see like maybe 10 snowflakes in a mini flurry on, um, on Halloween. <laughs> So sorry, I'm like manhandling. <laughs> I kind of forgot I was filming. Um, but that was it. But it's coming. But it was like 20 degrees yesterday morning, but then it was, it's going to be like, I think it was 60 today or something like that. It's going to be in and around, like right at, just below and at 60 degrees for the next week. So that's not too bad. And I've noticed that the tree, the leaves seem to be falling off the tree slower this year than they were last year, but maybe I'm remembering wrong. But I've got the, some chunky trees on in my yard that create a complete chaos, but it's not happening all at once this time, which is nice. All done. Gorgeous boy. <laughs> 
I don't have a name, but I like picking out boys' names the best, so that'll be fine. I'll pick out something nice once I put some time into it, but yeah, he's beautiful, super realistic. And I'm looking forward to seeing him in the daylight too, because it'll be a whole new opportunity to look at his details. He has these, these faint little um, eyebrows and probably the eyelashes are about as perfect as I've seen them. Cutie. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, it's November 2nd. I'm not sure when I'll post this, but you know, I never can wait for too, too long. Um, but I'll definitely be back soon. Sending out lots of love. Bye for now.